wouldn't advise going inside. Not with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness. Your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to meet you, my friend. Vincent, the LSPD's newest recruit. Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop? Very conspicuously for 10 years now. In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, effing what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some effing coffee down here on Dick's. And don't forget <laughs> the effing cream and sugar. Copy that. Oh, these motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. Coffee, bitch. <laughs> yeah, so we know that guy from the Diamond Casino. He, he used to be a bodyguard at the casino, but then he got fired. Money launderers on LSPD files with cash to appropriate. I invite you to consider this as a double investment opportunity. A chance to raise the funds we need to go toe-to-toe with a cartel cop coalition. And as a bonus, you get to disrupt some of your more unsavory competitors. Not to mention, you land yourself a handsome reward when this is all over. Did you know I used to be in security at the Diamond Casino? Then I became a mall cop. Then a real cop. And honestly, I've started to miss the days when I had to deal with intoxicated low lives instead of working for them. Dumbass over there. Ah! Okay. Pure simplicity. Get inside. Get the money. Get out. Based on comms, they do not look pleased with you. Alright, I'm going in. Where are we going? Inside. Oh, we got guys rolling up on us. Way, I will be able to assist you yeah, I got guys inside here too. Privileges. Accessing their database and communications is a perk of the job. One that will prove useful throughout this venture, I'm certain. Is 
this gun is solid. Oh, which one? Uh, it's like, uh, I don't know how to tell what it is. You told me to buy less. Oh, the heavy rifle? Yeah, I think so. Oh, let's think of my hand. You need me to pick something up or are we good? Yeah, I just picked up the cash. We have to pick up some more though. I have a bag, so I'm assuming I have to pick something up too. It's outside? Yeah, that, no, that's what was inside. Uh, that's a money laundering place and there was cash inside the dryers. Oh, uh, you need me to go back in and get it? No, I got it. Oh, all right. Up behind. Nice. All right, can you set up a waypoint? Towards Bravo. Bravo. Thank you. Yeah, that's why I love this car. This thing is a uh, the tank, huh? Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. It's probably a nightmare on on dirt, though. Yeah. I could get off-road tires for it, though, if we were to do like a lot of missions. Grim Fleet of Bay. North. Yeah. Yeah. guys after us. Oh, I can't, I can't uh, pop out. Cool playing this in first person. Can I jump up again? Oh, because there's freaking spikes on the thing. I gotta go all the way around. Be right in. Yeah, I'll wait for you. Start grabbing some cash. Nice. Should be the last of it. Easy money. So while you're hard at work, allow me to explain some of the background to our endeavor. A few months ago, a new cartel arrived in San Andreas. They came up with a pretty small... There's going to be a lot of heat outside. Yeah.
corrupt elements of the LSPD were only too eager to get cut in. Ingenious, right? But they think they got this whole thing sewn up. And that's where we come in. Alright, so far so good. No one died, except those guys, so... It's a good start. Yep. Who cares about gangsters? Right? You kill one, two more take their place. Like rabbits. This thing's not even upgraded either, and it's pretty fast. I've got it in uh, cinematic view. It's pretty awesome. Nice. That's one thing that I need to figure out. How to aim down the sights in first person view. Alright, where am I going? Whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I have no idea where we're going. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably uh, back here. Yeah, it's back here. I've just marked a local garage on your GPS. Once upon a time, it was an FIB facility, then the LSPD for a while. Now it's disused and wonderfully off the radar. A perfect storage locker for. Nice. Nice. 20 G's. Oh, really? Put it in the bank, baby. Not bad. It definitely wasn't as hard as that cru cargo ship thing. Yeah. Well, I think that was just the first mission. Right. It was just a setup for it. 